It's been so long since I made a video, I forgot how to start this. Oh, wait. No, I haven't. All right. Been way too long. I've been putting off videos for so long, mostly because I haven't had anything new to do other than flea market finds. So, you remember that one time when it was just a giant video of flea market finds because I kept putting off videos for a long time? Yeah, we're doing that again. So, let's just get straight into this. Um, if I can even remember, what's the oldest? I just went to the flea market today. I brought one of my friends for once, so... Yeah, that was fun. Um, just trying to remember what we what I should start with. Eh, who cares what we start with? Ah! Items are running away. Let's start with these two. So, this time I didn't go to a flea market. Well, this is a while ago. I think this was two weeks ago, maybe. Um, I didn't go to... We went to the flea market, but I didn't get anything. So, we went to a thrift store first. And that's where... Hold up, I'm remembering two other things. Hold up. Let me grab them. I need these tapes. Got these as well. Okay, uh, back to what I was saying. I got these. Tracy Ullman Show era Bart and Simpson. These are Burger King toys, apparently. Yeah, I did a little bit of research. Homer is really dirty for some reason. But these... I already knew these were Tracy Ullman Show versions just because of mainly... <laughs> but it looks so stupid. Um, there's one feature on these that I need to show, but in order to show them, I need to bring in two more things from when I got those two, and it's these, Raiders of the Lost Ark and Back to the Future. Back to the Future I've already watched before, I just wanted a VHS copy. Raiders of the Lost Ark, never watched it before, so I wanted to watch it. Let's see if I can get this first try. Nope. There we go. These things stand. <laughs> And Homer, he stands a lot better. <laughs> I don't know why. He just stands a lot better. Alright. Next thing, sticking with the Simpsons vibe. Um, Bart vs. Spate Mutants. It's okay. Nothing to write home about, but it's an okay game. get my view right <laughs> um you go around uh it's basically kind of, you would kind of consider it a collect-a-thon but it's not really because you have to like spray paint over stuff and yeah it it's weird <laughs> for a simpsons game you do not expect what you get at all so moving on to what we actually got today and i just where is it Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> Thought I lost something. So, um, where do I want to start with today? Um, well, we already talked about some tapes, so let's just go straight to them. I got two tapes today. Yes, they're both children's tapes. Shut up, I already know. Um, we got Green Eggs and Ham and Cat in the How. You can already see that. I don't know why I'm telling you. It is in there. I'm checking now because I didn't check when I was up at <laughs> the flea market. <laughs> and Bob the Builder, um, this was brand new. So, yeah, I opened this and watched it already. So, yeah, I doubt Bob the Builder tapes are worth anything. So, that I was perfectly fine opening. Um, next thing, sticking with media. Um, I got this copy of Matrix Reloaded. Um, I watched the original Matrix on VHS, and I never got the chance to watch the sequel. I finally found a copy that didn't look like crap, like absolute crap. Like, seriously, every other copy I find, the end label is just torn to shreds. I don't know what it is about this movie and just being in horrible condition, but... <laughs> This one was finally in good condition. And it has the nice case that I like where it just doesn't squish. Like, it squishes a little bit, but it's like a nice case. 
So that's fun. I get to watch that later. Um, you know, let's say the big thing for last. It's not actually, like, big, but I have a joke for it, so. Next, we got this reproduction copy of Mario Kart 64. Me and my friend, who I brought along with me. Uh, eventually, you'll see him in videos, but he wants to... Um, he apparently plans to be my editor, so he wants to actually get his stuff together first. So, eventually, he'll start showing up in videos and editing for me. <clears throat> so that'll be fun. That'll probably be when I, if I, if I actually start making some money off of this. Fun fact, um, in school yesterday, I looked up the YouTube stuff, and apparently it's $18 per 1,000 views, and if you know my GoKydra Mobile Ritz video, that has 77,000 views on it right now. That video is worth over $1,000. <laughs> Can't, just think about how much I could actually put all of that money into my videos if I actually had it. Like, I would actually be able to have the money if I had it. Like, that would be awesome. I still have some videos to record, luckily. Some videos I want to get friends to record with me, but I have a couple videos that I can record on my own right now. Not too many, but still a couple. Only problem is none of them are for this channel other than what I'm recording right now, which is Flea Market Finds. And I don't really think I'm comfortable going back to stuff that doesn't get any views at all, aka whatever crap I was doing at the start of this channel with my Mario plushes. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So, the last thing. This is actually something I've been wanting. Like, I've been going to the flea market for... And in general, I've been going years, but... I've been going to the flea market and noticing this, like, for the past month, maybe. And it's something I've been wanting to pick up, just because I like the look of it, honestly. And compared to my Polaroids, it's a lot cheaper... It's a film camera. Just a basic film camera. Get a zoom in on that. Yeah. So this thing, um, Continental, uh, I know nothing about it other than how it works. So, it has the strap with it. Um, yeah, I don't know much about cameras. It's a film camera, like I said. Get it all the way on the top. You got your shoot button. Makes a nice sound. On the bottom, you got the latch to release it. Takes 35 millimeter film. I need to get some film, but I might do a video on this. The last time I did a video on camera, it sucked though, and that was my Polaroid video. You might notice that's not on the channel anymore. That's for a reason. It was trash. So, I said I had a joke for this. It's because I do. This thing, that normally would wrap it up, but this thing did come with one other thing. And it's, it's flash. So, it just sits on top like this. If I can get it. Yeah. And then it turns into this. And it's honestly kind of ugly. <laughs> but, I would use this, but it has a single problem. And if I can even open this. Oh, it doesn't look too bad in there. But then you turn it around and you get that. That is disgusting. Look at that. Um, yeah, I don't... Uh, do I have a flashlight on there? Yeah, hold up. Let's see if the inside is any better. Oh! It's actually pretty good in there. Surprisingly. I don't know how. How did... How does only the tops of the batteries explode? How does that happen? I mean, I'm not an expert on battery acid or anything like that, but I imagine it should explode everywhere and not just the tops. Oh, that just comes off. Nice. Yep. 
Yeah, that is rusted beyond repair. Um, I might... See, does that even go back on? <laughs> if it goes back on, I might try, but... Yeah, it goes back on. Okay. So, I doubt I'll even use the flash anyways. But, I might just dip that thing in some vinegar. Hopefully that'll eat away all the corrosion on it. Because I wiped away all the white powder, acid, or whatever it is. Now it's just disgusting rust and stuff. I might try cleaning it up. I don't know. But, nope, screw it. That's going at the bottom of this. As always, with flea market finds, this is my favorite part, as always. Always has been, always will be. And that's going to wrap it up for today. I'll see you guys next time.